Right, let's move away from the fairies. Let's move away from the fairies. Let's go on to the Lannan Shea. Still not out of the woods. This is still not the person to come along and meet. The fairy women seen at night. This is from Edward, Edward Farragher. You always saw them at night. They were either on their own or in a pair. Long blonde hair, dressed in silk. You mean yellow silk, sometimes white silk. Often carrying a parasol at times, which is, which is, is absolutely very strange. But if you met the Lannan she described as a fairy sweetheart, sweetheart in inverted commas, I would actually say, because this is what happens. If you ever speak to a Lian and she, as Rhoda recorded here, you have a bond for life. They follow you for life. This is once again, this again is the fairy house on Balahic. Once again, the story here as well. Drunk fisherman sees this woman, invites him in to the fairy house at Balahic, dances away, sweats, and what she does, she offers him a handkerchief and she, he wipes his face with a handkerchief. That's it. The bond is for life, and that's it. And uh, in this particular case as well, yet again from the fairy house at Balahic, just simply kissing them. Someone got a bit too exuberant in the fairy house, kissed a woman who he thought was a woman, wasn't a woman, he's a lion and she, and that's it. They become invisible, that's it, but they are with you for life. One person actually emigrated to America. He thought that was the solution, and she followed him to America. In turn of, you never get rid of them. You can never, one person did. One person, once again, did actually, actually get away from them. Once again, you know, very, very helpful here as well, you know, he managed to get away, but I forgot the charm. Thank you very much, you know. Still dangerous out there. Still dangerous, dangerous out there. One person, they say, who was, who was absolutely fascinated by, by this notion of the fairy sweetheart as a lion and she was Edward Farragher. You know, he, 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 he encountered one coming back from the Methodist chapel in Port Erin. He went to a service one night. He didn't recognize her as being one. I met a young lady in a yellow silk dress rustling as she passed by me. She had a white parasol in her left hand hanging down by her side. But neither of us spoke, so the people were telling me it was the Lan and she. If I would have spoken to her, she would have followed me. He wrote that in a letter to Rhodey. He wrote it He said, God, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, don't try and follow, you know, don't speak to them. Good God, you know, and this is it. But he said, this is what he did. This is yet another letter, you know, another letter to Rhodey. Same letter, sorry, you know. The next Sunday night, I went across the hill at the same time, intending to speak to her, but she was not there. Good job, good job, good job. 